Welcome to another gameplay review. Today we're going to be looking at Chantelise. Uh, it's available on uh, Steam and such. I'm just going to go ahead and open up this uh, relatively beginning uh, file here. Um, so Chantelise is a game about two sisters, and one of them has been turned into a fairy. And um, you're you're going through uh, this quest to you know be able to turn your sister back into a human. So that's your sister there floating around about, around you. So in this game, this you know it's an action kind of RPG game. So you've got uh, your basic attack uh, you can use to just hit enemies. They'll drop uh, money and magic gems. So money obviously will be used to buy stuff. Magic gems are used um, in a different way. So what you have here, I'll just pick up a bunch. You can hold up to six of them. After that, it won't let you pick any more up. Um, you have a... Um, a button to uh, a lock on. This game does support uh, gamepad controls, and so I'm using a controller here. Um, you have a lock on button, you can use that to toggle around between uh, targets. Um, if you hold the lockdown button, you'll lose the target and recenter your camera. Uh, you can rotate the camera only left and right, similar to like uh, the first Kingdom Hearts game. Where you can use a. I have it set where you can use either the triggers or the control stick. Um, you also have a, a jump button. So you can jump, jump and attack. And if you press both jump and attack together, you'll do this sort of dash thing. It's, it's actually good for, for dodging enemy attacks. Um, first boss in this area actually kind of makes you use it. If you don't use it, you'll be hit by a certain attack every time. Anyway, uh, back to magic. So, um, the way magic works is you have a, a button you just press to use a magic gem to uh, send a magic attack out. And there's different elements. So there's like, green is like electricity or wind. And then, um, of course, you know, like red is fire, blue is water, and brown is earth. Or yellow, I guess you could say, is earth. So they all have um, level 1 type spells. But the number of gems that you uh, put together uh, creates different spells. So um, if you put together gems of different types, uh, following the first type that you use, it'll just like make the basic spell uh, better. So if I use these two, I get, um, one of the, the iron balls is bigger, I believe. Well, it's hard to tell right here. But if you use two gems of the same color, you actually get a different spell. It's like that was like an, uh, an explosion attack that went out there. Instead of just the, uh, a regular fireball. So, um, like, there. See, so I use, like, an icicle attack rather than just a single water with a, with a water attack. This is an item I can pick up. Um, so, as you can see, there's, like, a, a barrier back here. All the levels have, um, these barriers up at first, and, uh, after you defeat the enemies, uh, it'll drop. So now I can go to the next area. But um, each area, in addition to um, the enemies to defeat, they also have um, secret requirements for a secret, an extra treasure. In this case, in the first level, uh, a new enemy pops up at the very back here. And it is of a special type. It does not get affected by regular attacks or even single magic attacks. Instead, you have to use... Um, 
uh, a level 2 spell, which requires two gems of the same color. Oops. And I have to hit them. There we go. So a treasure chest just appeared. And in it, I'll get like a, a unique item. Oh. So in that case, it's a pheromon, which uh, increases my max HP. So my max HP just went from 30 to 40. I do have um, two equipment slots, but um, at the moment, I don't have any uh, items to equip. So let's go ahead a little further here. So yeah, the story, um, I guess I talked about the story a little bit, but uh, you, um, you're you on this quest to get your sister back to normal. Um, when you arrive in town, you find out, you know, uh, it's like a thing that's happened before. But eh, I guess I don't have to talk about story too much. I don't want to spoil anything. So, um, so the uh, requirements for the secret treasure chest do get a little um, uh, obtuse. Uh, they are not something that you can uh, easily find out uh, on your own. Uh, a lot of times, you're gonna have to. Uh, well, there is an in-game way to find out what um, the treasures are, but uh, we'll. So for example, um, this one is you just have to hit this pillar. So a lot of them do get really um, sort of random and not really random, and but uh, there are a lot of things that you wouldn't be able to just figure out, or it's not very uh, straightforward. Uh, that's intentional, as there is a in-game way to get hints on what the uh, this, the secret treasures are. And um, the key to beating this game is actually getting a lot of the secret treasures. Because you're not going to be able to... Um, you're just not going to be able to... Uh, to have an easy time through this game without the treasures. So in this game, there are no experience points. You don't level up. Uh, the only way you increase your stats is... Um, there are those consumable items which increase your max HP, and then other pieces of equipment which raise your stats, and that's it. As you go through the game, you do get more equipment slots. Um, that's those. You get more equipment slots after beating bosses and such. You also get more uh, magic uh, casting slots. You can still only carry six gems forever throughout the game. But the number of gems you can combine together increases. So, like right now, I can only combine two gems, but uh, I'll be able to I'll be able to combine up to four in the future. Um, a nice thing about this game, I'm actually gonna go ahead and die here. Kill me! Come on. Okay. So in this game, when you die, get a game over. You don't lose any progress. So it'll take you back to town, and I will still have, I, I got the shield from that treasure chest, I still have uh, all my money, which is like 2,000 picks, oh. and um, I have these other things that I picked up. Spell list, oh it actually even tells you uh, the different spells that you can cast. Super armor is a very good, very good one. It, Main, it makes it so that you don't get knocked back from enemies when you get hit, and it also increases your uh, defense, you know, temporarily, until the spell we spell wears off. So it, it is a key spell to learn. Um, the three water gem spell that you learn later is your healing move. So until you get that, there's no way you can heal yourself. Um, I mean, you can't. There's no like potions to buy to uh, give yourself health back. What I want to show here 
is um, this the shop works in a very um, unique way. When you buy stuff, so this is a, a pheromon, so it will increase my max HP. When you buy things in this game, the price goes up each time. So if I buy one, the price is now doubled. It's now 2,000. I cannot afford another one. Um, yeah. I can sell these things. These things that say treasure in the description, uh, they're only good for selling, basically. They have no other use. So if I buy another one of these, press doubles again. 4,000. So, um, that's sort of the, the balancing in this game, is that, uh, you go through dungeons and you get money to buy stuff like equipment and HP items. Of course, equipment, you only really want to buy like one of each anyway. But um, you can multi-equip, uh, as it says in the description here. You can only equip uh, up to two, though, of any one category of things. So um, defense increasing items. I can only have like two shields. Of course, I don't have a whole lot of equipment here. Um, but when I show here, it'll say clear for uh, the treasure chest that I got. Uh, you can enter a level uh, at will that you've reached before uh, in time trial mode, but that's just so you can um, try to beat a level in a fast time if you really want to, to do that. So it's just like in here. You can... Uh, play levels to uh, get time. It, it doesn't do anything. There's no like uh, reward for doing this in game. It's just another uh, game option. But you can still uh, get money from it. And then uh, when you're in time trial mode, you can't change your equipment. You can restart. You can uh, go the back to the world map. But um... Well, I said when you when you die, you don't lose progress. Um, so when I go back into a level, I also don't have to clear all the enemies out again to drop the uh, the barrier at the end of the, the area. So if I want, I can just skip all these guys and keep going back to where I was. And this is this is considered story mode, where I'm I'm going through the dungeon to beat it. So when I get back here, I still have to... There's still a barrier down there, you can see it. I still have to defeat all the enemies here to progress to the next room. So um, I'm actually going to go switch back to my main file. So this one, I'm going to show off some equipment here. All right, so um, here uh, you can arrange items here. All right, so like I was saying, um, so these are my uh, equi pieces of equipment. Uh, these will increase my attack. Uh, these will increase my magic attack. These will increase my uh, defense. Magic defense. And then here's some other thing, fun things. So I got speed boots. I got winged boots. There's uh, mermaid shoes, which you basically you can move through water without being slowed down, you know. Because I get slowed down like this. If I have mermaid boots on. What? Oh, I can only have two, two boots. Right, okay. Uh, then, you know, I don't get slowed down. And then, of course, um, speed boost just making you faster in general. Uh, a really fun one that you get is the winged boots, which allows you to um, not walk on the air, but uh, enables air dash. 
Um, Eskimo boots, of course, you don't slip on ice. Critical hit up on this. This will pick up magic gems for you automatically. So you just walk over and it'll just automatically pick it up. Um, cat statue will draw money towards you. And then there's some other things in here. Enemies drop more coins. There's some magic attacks. So the fire crystal here, when I equip it, I have a charge attack now. And it looks like that. So that's cool. There's some gems that, you know, do stuff like that. Uh, the air dash is, um, the air dash looks like this. And you can do it, you know, multiple times. Which is key to getting some of the uh, secret treasures, is that you have to build an air dash. And the the winged boots are something that you get from another secret treasure chest in another level, so they sort of um, add up in that way. And then there's uh, some fishing poles. And the way fishing works in this game is once you get the fishing pole, uh, you can cast it into some water. Your sister acts as uh, the bait here. When a, a fish grabs you, it turns into this sort of Mario Golf looking thing. And you can see the fish's health bar right under me, barely. It's very small. Health bars in this game are all pretty small. Um, even with the uh, bosses and such, and enemies, they all have health bars, but uh, they look very small. And they f they're filled with blue and then empty into black, so you can uh, barely see them sometimes. But um, the way this fishing works, fishing is completely optional. I mean, there are a few dungeons where it's like, uh, catch a fish and the secret treasure just will appear. But um, you're filling up power and then coming back to uh, hit the fish. Anyway, the game does keep track of uh, your fish records over here. It keeps like your biggest fish or whatever of a certain type. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. Fishing is completely optional. There's not like any big rewards for it. There are some rewards, but not anything like major. That's why I haven't really done it. Um, anything else to show off? Uh, I guess not really. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Magic Gems are kind of cool. So, um, the game does have a uh, survival dungeon, which is not quite an endless dungeon, but it's 60 floors. The cl it shows my records here. The closest I got was floor 57, and it took me nearly three hours to get that far. So after I failed that time, I was like, screw it, I'm not going to do that. Um, you do get some items for every, like, 10 floors that you get through on that game. There's only 60 floors, so I got close, but, yeah. Um, so yeah, those are all the different dungeons to go to. Uh, so, yeah, there's only, like, six or five dungeons in this game. They all have, like, five rooms each, I think. Like, yeah. Well, wait, let me just go back to the main... Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, and then a boss. And then if you get all the treasures in the first five plus boss area, it'll unlock the, the extra sixth area. Or seventh, depending on how you're counting. And it just has an extra treasure for you to get. And you can only access it from the time trial mode. But you can still get the treasure that way. Um, so yeah. That is pretty much the game. Uh, I think it's, I think it's pretty fun. Um, little story. When I first got got through to like near the end of this game, um, I couldn't beat like the secret boss because I was just going through it with like uh, regular attacks and such. Um, I didn't have all the secret treasures, and it turns out, if you do get all the secret treasures, 
uh, there's this one. Um, the uh, darkness crystal. It's something that you get from a secret treasure in the final dungeon. And it, it pretty much makes the game easy. The final boss, at least, easy. Because what it does is it enables a, um, a life drain attack. So you just charge up your attack, and you keep attacking the boss like that, and you keep restoring your health. So the game becomes easy after that. So yeah, uh, you can replay old dungeons, obviously, to, to grind for money to increase your health if you uh, feel it is necessary for you. That's basically how you, um, if you're having trouble with an area and need more health or something, or new equipment, then you can, you know, you can easily grind for more HP and money and stuff like that. Well, yeah, you can't grind for attack increases, per se. You only grind for money, which gives you more equipment to change your stats, which, again, is the only way to change your stats, and to uh, buy uh, HP-increasing items. Um, so, my latest playthrough, um, if you remember on the file select screen just uh, not too long ago, um, there was a six-hour save file. I I went through and got all the secret treasures and beat the game in about six hours. And that's only my second time playing through the game in general. So, uh... So yeah, you what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that you don't have to grind in this game. You can to make it a little easier, but you don't have to if you, you know, go around and find the secret treasures. That's right. Speaking of secret treasures... Oh man, I can't just jump to the main road map. Okay. Speaking of secret treasures, the way if you don't follow a guide to find where all they are, because I still encourage you to use a guide on finding secret treasures. I mean, play through like each dungeon once on your own and then go back using a guide to try to find secret treasures that you couldn't find on your own. But totally no shame in finding secret treasures. And the reason I say that there's no shame in using a guide to find the secret treasure in this, in this game is because the way that you um, try to find secret treasures on your own is you go to this place. Uh, this guy, the church, priest, whatever. You come to him and uh, um, he will charge you max HP to uh, give it a hint. So let's go ahead. You know the what the first level is, Path to Ruins. So if you if you spend an HP to get a hint, if you wait long enough, something strong may appear. That's your hint. What it is is after you defeat all the enemies, an extra monster appears. So um, you know what the second one is. You hit that pillar. It says something looks suspicious. Hit it. Okay. So I mean, that's not a bad hint, but it's still vague enough where um, you may not know uh, what it is. So yeah. Uh, let's see. So yeah, it goes up to ten. So I guess. Um, it's not that expensive, but at the same time, it's your HP, which is something that, you know, it gets more expensive to get more HP. So it could be, in a way, very costly to get these hints. Which is why I never really get them. Just because it costs HP, and HP can be seen as very valuable. But, you know, if you want to use guide, I, I don't see any problem with it. Just for getting the secret treasures. I mean, there's nothing else really to get from a guide. It's a pretty straightforward game. There's not like any secret uh, trade quests or anything like that. But yeah, that is the game. So uh, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask in the comments below. 
if you think this review is at all, if you like the video, uh, please hit the like button. If you don't like the video, you know, hit the like, dislike button. And then uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Holy crap. Increase my max HP in half all of that.